people good morning um, welcome to the video now you would have already saw some training footage from this morning's workout which was calves back and shoulders but today's video is gonna be uh, a sit down kind of a little chat um, going over my off season because this weekend so today's Friday uh, as of recording this I'm actually at work just having my post workout meal here before we start the day but this weekend basically marks the end of this phase um, in my training career or I guess we can call it off season. So right now I will be starting to enter a little bit of a mini cut, kind of a cleanup phase. Um, for those that know me closely, uh, I don't know if I've talked about this a whole lot on the, the channel here, but uh, I am getting married um, at the end of August. So from now till then, I wanna do a bit of a cleanup, probably aiming to lose somewhere around 15 to 20 pounds between now and then, which is a, a very realistic approach. We have plenty to t of time to do it. I haven't quite uh, locked in like how far, you know, from now till then, like I think it's around 17 weeks, 16 or 17 weeks. So basically like four months to do that lose that 15 to 20 pounds, right? Which is, you know, a mini cut's usually a little bit more assertive um, than a prep would be. So to lose that amount of weight in, in that amount of time is, is very much doable and we might even get there faster and then we can, you know, enter a maintenance phase uh, maybe a bit more earlier than, than originally planned. So the, the original goal when I talked about this to Cliff, my coach, was probably getting around 170 to 175. Now, mind you, when I said that, um, I was nowhere near where I am right now. So in speaking with him uh, most recently, three, four weeks ago, uh, we talked about maybe not having to go that low to achieve a body composition that I'm looking for. I'm not trying to get shredded by no means, but you know, a little bit leaner, um, a little bit less like, you know, pudgy around the face, around the waistline, um, and just, you know, feel, feel good, right? Right now, I'm don't get me wrong, I feel good most of the time, but you know, you're just a little bit sluggish, you know, a little bit like like full, and, and it's just not, uh, you know, not a great feeling um, to, to sustain that, right? It's the nature of the beast when it comes to the off season, but um, when it comes to my wedding day, I wanted to, to feel a little bit better. So we talked about maybe only having to go down to like 180, um, because right now, um, morning weight is somewhere around 197 to 198, so, you know, my original goal of 170, basically 30 pounds off this, you know, that, that's a lot to lose. And with the way my body composition is now, we, we talked about it, it probably won't need to be that low to get the look I'm going for, and we'll probably get it around 180, which would be kind of around that 15 to 20 pound mark. So I, I'm very excited because that'll give me a, a really good insight to the progress that I've made um, this off season and what we can, look forward to when it comes showtime next year. But kind of the other topic I wanted to do in this video was review my training. This period of time that I've had, um, you know, looking back at my, my notes there on my logbook and stuff, it was basically the beginning of August um, that I had, you know, committed to now an off season, right? So since then, um, my weight has gone up, you know, to places it's never been. Um, my last off season, I kind of capped out at 192 and I wasn't there very long. Um, whereas now I've been over the 190s for a good amount of time. And obviously 197, a, a very much uh, new territory. My training this, this period of time has been probably some of the best it's ever been in my training career. And, you know, I, I attribute that to focus being number one. You know, I was really committed to progressing in my training, finding movements that worked, finding movements that would aid me in improving my physique in the areas that needed improvement. And 
just really staying disciplined with you know nutrition rest and uh, you know all the other things that make your training good and since August I've made strides like physically for sure um, I'm gonna do another video kind of like a physique analysis video I'll probably do that next week um, where we'll actually like look at you know photos and stuff like that and kind of analyze and critique what's been done but training wise you know, I'm the strongest I've ever been across everything. When I started my off season, I wrote down some goals for myself, which I really encourage people to do because the off season, because physically, you know, the changes like visually aren't, uh, you know, they're not as substantial as when you're dieting um, week to week, but also as you gain body fat, you know, you, you kind of look worse in a sense, right? So it can be challenging to stay focused and stay disciplined, whereas, you know, I've seen a lot of benefit in setting performance goals in the gym, chasing those, you know, following my nutrition and just kind of letting my body visually do what it's going to do and not get too hooked up on that. So, you know, for myself, I had set some basic stuff. Bench, 315 for five. Wanted to hit that. Deadlift, 500 for five. And squat, 405 for 10. Now... You know, if, if you guys follow me on Instagram where I post like training footage, you know, very regularly, um, you'll know that I've done at least two of those goals uh, quite some time ago. So, you know, the bench one was the one that eluded me until actually just this past week. So the squat, um, the 405 for 10, probably one of my favorite lifts of my training career. I think that was a huge milestone. Um, if I can find it I'll have to go back on Instagram and see if I can save it somehow but if I can find it I'll post it here you guys can see that set but that was that was probably that 405 or 10 was probably one of my favorite lifts of my career right it was just it's one of those you know four plates 10 reps you know a, a bit of a milestone um, but most recently which I have the videos for and I'll post them here so uh, we'll start with the deadlift so deadlifts have always been a movement I've been good at, I've been confident in, and relatively strong at. So when I set that 500 for five, you know, looking where I am now, that was a very, um, what's the word, conservative goal. And I've done far beyond that. Um, very, very, very far beyond that um, for fives. But just recently, um, maybe a month or so ago, I did this right here which is 600 for one so very 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 happy with that um you know that was a lift i was you know very excited about i was very happy with um and you know 600 which is again territory i'd never been in um it moved quite good and i was just really overall happy with that um squat just recently again um i actually hit 500 pounds for a double so that again, you know, territory I've never been in. I think, you know, up to this off season, like I feel like four plates was like a max. Now we're hitting that for 10. You know, a couple weeks ago I did 475 um, for two, which was kind of on a whim. And then when I did that, watching it back, how it felt, um, I was like, yeah, like 500 is there for sure, for, for definitely for one. Um, and then sure enough, I had hit it for two and actually watching it back, um, which you guys will have seen, you know, it, it moved very good. Um, arguably three or four reps was there. So again, really happy, right? Places I'd never been. And then the most recent one was that 315 for five, um, you know, over this off season period, um, you know, 315 for three, then I'd get four and I'd get four again. Um, and it, it, that five, that fifth rep just really, really was, you know, testing me as far as my patience goes. Um, but anyways, so this uh, most recent uh, last week, I was going into the workout and I had 310 um, programmed and the goal was five reps. And I'm like, man, if I get 310 for five, like you're right there, 315, what's five more pounds? And that's kind of been my attitude going for some of these lifts. If it's, you know, five or 10 pounds more, go for it, right? Because, you know, if you don't get it, you don't get it, but at least you you went for it, you tried. And sure enough, you know, the video, that, that last rep was a fight, but uh, it, it went and I was 
really, really buzzed about that. I was super happy with that. Um, I don't know if, uh, you know, bet, it's one thing to go for a squat and a deadlift max for me, um, which is kind of weird because usually that's one, like usually squats for sure is one of the ones people like fear. But for me, bench, I think it's just because like my, my pec historically has been, you know, not the happiest at times. Um, so I'm, I'm hesitant, I'm weary to just see what I can do on bench. I don't know if 350 would be there for one, um, but 315 for five, you know, previously, I think my most is 330 for a single. So, you know, definitely 335, 340, I, I would be confident in lifting. I don't know if 350 would be there or not, but uh, that's besides the point. So, you know, training this time was really good. Um, I really can't say enough about the importance of consistency, of course, um, but finding things that, that work for you and, you know, effort in those things, right? So one of the things that I put more effort in was my calf training. And, you know, when we go through photos and stuff, when I look at them, like my calves have actually improved, which is kind of a joke within the, the bodybuilding community, the calves just never progress. There's something to be said about, you know, tacking on a few sets at the end of your workout and calling that your calf work for the week, um, where the last little while I've been doing calves three times a week um, at the start of the workout where I'm fresh, I'm you know amped up, I'm ready to go, and I can put that effort in. So, you know, for example, today you guys saw at the beginning of this video some calf work. Um, I did pauses at the bottom, so really emphasizing that stretch and a controlled um, contraction at the top, uh, four sets there, and then on another day I'll do that same calf raise setup, but just uh, you know controlled tempo reps usually a higher rep range, somewhere around like 20 to 30 reps. And then I'll do another day where it's standing, same setup, but a lower rep range. And then I'll do seated on like my hamstring curl machine that I can rig up to a seated hamstring curl. So three times a week doing calves. And another area that I've been seeing improvement in is my arms. So arm training was always something that I kind of just like calves, you know, I tacked on triceps the end of chest and shoulders. I tacked on biceps at the end of, you know, back days and, you know, went through the motions, but you know, never really applied myself to those and my arms reflected that, right? Like some poses, my arms look good, but uh, you know, one of the big ones is my front double bicep. It just, it's not great. Um, and I wanted to, to change that. So I tested for a while, like doing an actual arm day, but the split just didn't, um, didn't work for me just with my schedule and you know, pretty much how I like to train. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't ideal. So what I've been doing most recently is I'll do chest um, because my chest is a, a pretty strong um, area on my physique. So I, I do enough to, to keep it slowly progressing, but it's not something that I need to like actively move forward as much as other areas of my physique. So I kind of just kept it where I needed it to be. And then I would do arms after that. And I've done various different setups over the course of this off season with my arm training on those days and it's it's paid off. I'm really pleased with how my arms have improved. Um, and obviously they can be better, but you know, during the period that I've had to improve them, I feel like I'm confident they have improved. That is very exciting. Um, and then obviously the the biggest focus during this off season that I had spoke with my coach about at the start was you know my back, my hamstrings, like posterior chain as a whole. So basically everything behind me um, needed to come up. So I'm, I'm happy with how things look now um, in comparison to where they looked before. And uh, I think when I do compete again, it's going to look very different on stage um, across all poses, but, but hopefully the back shots will look much improved and my training is definitely contributed to that. So that's what I just wanted to touch on today, guys, is just, you know, discussing my training, analyzing it and where, you know, things went really good, the progress that I've made. Um, and as we enter this new phase, training wise really won't change. Um, I don't see a point in changing what's working for me and progress can still be made, right? There's, uh, there's no reason why I can't continue to make progress throughout this mini cut phase. Um, I'm not getting to the point where, you know, training starts to suffer when you're dieting and you're fatigued and stuff like that. I'm very much going to be above that threshold for this entire mini cut, right? So I'll still make progress, hit PRs, and 
you know, hopefully continue to see improvements as we continue through this year and then we get set up for 2022 and the, the return to the stage. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. I know, you know, this, um, this section of the video, not overly exciting, um, just sitting here having a conversation, but I wanted to give some insight into, um, again, my, my off season training and why I think I've made the progress that I have and how I've done it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like the video, um, subscribe to the channel if you are new and I'll see you guys in the next one.